Oh, good morning. You know, it's actually going to be another good day, so I'm out in the woods. Here's the rocks I collected. <coughs> I remember saying, I think it's out far enough to not have to worry about the tractor getting it, but the plowing. And look, that was really close, so I'm going to take it over here a little bit. Get up leaves. We'll move this a little bit there. But they did come out at the end. Started just in the field over. Which is something that they do. So today I'm gonna find my trail marker. And head back into the the woods. And you can see it's a lot rougher going. This will let me know if I trail marker was sufficient. You can see why there are importance for such things. And there it is. And you don't want to make it obvious, but you want to be able to see it yourself. And then here's the next one. And it kind of makes it a little bit easier knowing which way you're going now. And then here's one. A continuation and then the one that actually leads me to the piece that I want so that's the piece I want for my walk brought me a SOGX to use now this is probably more of a fighting axe Especially with that point, you know. But we're going to see about bringing down the tree here. Here, about here, is perfect. You don't want to feel like here, because if you miss, well, now we have a medical emergency. So I'm going to have that right back. me out. Also, I'm using controlled strikes. I'm not trying everything. Just a good, solid strike. I'm letting the axe do the work. Once again, if I swing too hard and I miss, You see, I've been kind of rising as I went around. It happened. Busy little beaver.
notice the tree has kind of keeping itself from falling. The whole idea is not being too much of a hurry. There we go. I'll do a little trimming. making that depth. Let's continue on our walk. Bring a stick with us. Continue down the trail. And the rest of the trail I kind of make up as I go. I'm following pretty much a similar direction I went last time. That's what I mean by having to swing around to get over obstacles. Here's that big area I was talking about. It's great for a shelter. Now, I'm going to lean the walking stick there. Keep the axe by it. And what I can do is kind of trim some of the bark away. Now, while I have it, I can just kind of just do a, a shave. I 
I do have a tool, two-handed, that would do this much faster. But if you're out in the bonies, like I am, and this is what you have, All these little branches in the way. And uh there we go. Kind of make a little more clear view. So really if I had like a wood piece I could stick in here, which I might make. And I'd have a better job of doing this. And folks, this is what separates us from the animals, the ability to use tools. There's very few animals out there, there are some, that use, utilize tools all the time. What I do is I can make a wood block that I can hang, and I can use this as a pull-down. So that might be the next thing I make. Yeah, I got the wood for it. Because this is high quality steel and a very heavy blade, it holds the edge a long time. Unlike unlike the machete, which is a very thin blade, and does it. You gotta, gotta make sure you got control of it. And don't try to take too much off at the same time. So, all right. Let me come up to those knots. Those knots, well, they're gonna fight you. So, I was gonna go to the gym this morning. Out in Shorewood, but <clears throat> I don't have the gas money to do it today. I paid heavy on some of the bills, uh, trying to save on interest. And so now I'm got to kind of keep close to home. No biggie. Such is life. Tomorrow I'm working six hours instead of eight it will get me home at a good time now all the stuff I'm peeling off makes great kindling for a fire I mean it really does you know it dries out quickly I'm not going up that high because chances are I'm not going to make it that tall. But if it does, I'll sit there and get it in the vise and do it a little bit better cleanup. I figure this time when I'm talking, I actually have something to do. You can see how tough those knots are, <clears throat> and, the, and the belt sander I have will make much easier work of that. And if I have enough time, when I get back up to the house, I might start doing some of that. We'll see how motivated I am. <clears throat> I kind of got a real fine sander on it right now. I think I might just keep on there because I got plenty of blades or uh, belts. You can see the, the grain.
brains coming out here. And this one, I'll, I'll do the same as the handle. Because I'll do a black stain <coughs> first, and then do the red over it, and then do the clear. And I'll take that all across them. It'd be kind of like a, a match set. So maybe I'll move the camera here so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. I'll bring it over here. Lift it up a little taller. Here we go. A little tilt down to get the sun out of there. talk about having fun in the woods and just how many crafts you can do out here. See, that's a nice heavy stuff what you can do for you. You can also do a blade like this if you make one like a, a 30 degree edge and another one a 20 degree. And you have one better for chip side, better for chopping, and one side better for slicing. And you can see how it gets when you get to the, to the knot. Right now, I'm just kind of rough shaping it. Just taking some of the roughness out of it. And later on, I can kind of <coughs> maybe carve some wounds in it. Now, if I put them in deep enough, I'm thinking maybe I can uh, do some silver work with it. I have to thank Ray, Batman proper on that, because he's starting to do that. And I'm thinking is I can get some sort of awning tool or even better stencils, I can burn it in. And then once I get everything shellacked, I can tape around it, whatever, and then you know, pour some silver in there. Put some holes in there so it'll it'll stay in. And just for making a, a decorative piece. Still an effective piece. I still take it out there with me. So you can see and then really if I wanted to, I could, I could make a fire there. I'm not going to make a fire in here though. Wind like today, with all those leaves, we can lose it real quick. Exercise I'm getting my I tell you my rest was sore and being behave from all the knife work I've been doing. Look all the shaving we've been doing. 
and I still have a sharp blade. That's because when I originally made this knife, <coughs> the quench went perfectly. I had a my buddy's stepdad, David, really knew his stuff about metallurgy. So not only we quenched, quenched it, but we tempered it later. <coughs> and uh, you know, it's a nearly a 40-year-old blade. And I put it through its paces. And then just lately I decided, you know, we got to pretty it up a little bit. And that's what expired, inspired this old knife. Now another thing I'm thinking of, is right here, and I didn't bring gloves, <clears throat> but I've got like big enough branches, there might be one right here, it's not too dead, it's too heavy, and it's too dead, it's probably too heavy. So I'm going to stack a lean-to here. Now what I'll try to do is try to utilize the branches that have already fallen on the ground. And the reason I'm going to stack on this side because the sun tends to come this way. We want that energy to come into the lean-to. See, we, we definitely found which way the grain goes. And that's the way you want to kind of shred it. Deer carcass to later on tan the hide. Some of it's got this natural redness in it, which I'm going to lose when I sand it, which almost tempts me to not sand it, but and then really the, it'll go this way. So I want the thick part up here. I had to think about doing some sort of decoration, carving type thing, which I'm not good at, but I will try my best. Risk of getting to work out here. Once again, ready to behave. You can see where something had burrowed in there and made tracks. Uh, looks, actually, looks pretty good.
So, you can see the blade taking no damage at all. That's good steel. And it's a good quench. I got the hardest stuff perfectly. So here's my next project. It basically be uh, some sanding time, which I think I might be able to do if I head up there now. And I can set this up by the the front, and maybe uh, maybe I'll live stream it. I think I will. I'm liking the way I'm liking the way this is looking. Sometimes just you get inspired just coming out in the woods. You know, you go, hey, we can make something of value here. You know, who knows? Maybe I can start selling them. You know, make some money. Anyway, it's fun making. So let me uh, pause the video now. All right, so we're ready to head back up to the house. I got a walking stick slash shillelagh. <clears throat> Found a place to hang my axe. Just stick it in the belt. And we'll follow our way back out of here. I'll see what time it is when I get to the house. But I think I will have enough time to work a little bit on the sander. Just to kind of see how it'll turn out. hand and wrist work. So, actually, probably not the way I wanted to go out. It's cut across. So I don't want to walk into the plowed field. So I will divert off my main trail. and come out where I usually come out. So, <clears throat> I wasn't expecting a, another nice day like today. That's why I use the look out the window weather app. And it's always accurate. The rain they called for went to the east of us. So and there's a lot of these trees here. So I mean, I won't. Oh shit, dear! I don't think you can see it. Right. Let's see if we can catch it. I kicked out a deer. Now that might be already across that field. It does not take them long. Looks like a young doe. I doubt very much we caught it on video, but I caught it, and there's one, there's probably another one in there. So, 
hope everybody will enjoy this video. Hope you are enjoying these videos. This is the part where you get out and enjoy life is in fitness. And to those who can't do this, fortunately, because of injuries or childish, childhood injuries, illnesses or whatever, I hope you find some enjoyment watching me share this with you. This is one of the reasons why I don't complain about things a lot. Because I do have my health. And it has a true blessing. And I think if people concentrated on that more than being thinking they're oppressed about something or thinking they're going to stop some sort of injustice. And I was there too when I was younger. Not to this extent, but who knows? We didn't have the cell phones. people just went out and lived and enjoyed life and enjoyed the simple things I believe there'd be less violence in the world the problem is we're never happy with what we have and I think that's where the problem starts so this will be the end of the, of the premiere Whenever I make it more than 40 minutes, it takes forever to load up. Yesterday it took three hours. That's why the time kept changing. Ray gave me some shit about that. And I was like, well damn, it was up to 64%. And then the next time I looked, it was at five. It restarted. I'm like, oh man, you gotta be kidding me. So you're killing me, Smalls, you're killing me. But I appreciate the, the members of the channel. Big shout out to the members I have. That really helps me out greatly and I appreciate that. And also shout out to the, what I call the core subscribers, the ones that are always showing up. You know, most of my, most of those beaverines, you know, Savage Lee and Prepping Artist, Kelly and Jacob. Batman, Body Beat Down, Michael, Simple Tony, Bama Jim. I'm trying to catch you. Black Clack, where are they? One of my members. Twisted Pixie, another member. I'm trying to go down the list there. Captain Silva. Just give me some great ideas, which I appreciate. And it reminded me to go get those planks. <coughs> and I think I'm going to. I'm going to do that with those planks. I'm going to make them some sort of hanging. That's going to be another project I'll be doing in the shed. Sanding them down and staining them. You know, because I can use that in the house. So, you know, I appreciate the feedback I get from the subscribers. And that helps me a lot. You know, Randy Romains. Make sure I get some obvious ones. I'll try to catch them back later. Last Chance Knives, Lord, Lord Eagle, Wild World of Trains, Buck Buffer Shake. Now I'm just waiting for my second one. And everybody else, I do appreciate the, the coming in and the thumbs up, and coming in and enjoying in the chat. The chat really is what makes these premieres. You know, and even though I'm at work, I, I make sure I'm moderate the chat and get involved in it. And I might, with the sanding, I might just do that on five. But we'll see what time it is. It's got to be around 11. So I do have time to play around yet before I have to head to the gym. Remember, everybody, have the sunshine. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day.